Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So I've just come back from my first trip abroad since the COVID pandemic started. It's been um, over two years now since I've been away outside of the UK and it was such an amazing trip. My boyfriend and I went to Portugal. We spent a couple of days in Lisbon doing the um, typical touristy sightseeing activities. And for those of you who don't know and who might be planning to go to Lisbon, it is a very hilly city. So definitely carry trainers with you if you want to walk around because um, the streets are pretty much fully like cobbled stones um, and hilly, as I said. So um, yeah, definitely more comfortable, I think, wearing trainers. And then the second part of the holiday, we went to Al Rufaira along the coast and that was just blissful. That was all about um, chilling on the beach, um, going for swims in the sea and having nice food and drink. So we just got back yesterday and I wanted to show you the bag that I carried with me. Um, now, some of the budget airlines have changed their policies. So we flew with EasyJet and previously they would allow you to carry a um, cabin suitcase for free. Um, and that would be the single bag that you can carry. So I would take a mini crossbody bag and my suitcase. And then as I boarded the plane, I would then just shove my uh, mini bag into my suitcase um, because you're only allowed to carry on one thing unless you paid extra. But um, EasyJet have updated their policy and now you actually have to pay just to carry on a suitcase, which is a bit of a pain to be honest, but um, I guess they need to make their money. So given I had to do that anyway for the suitcase, they also then allow you to take on a proper handbag or rucksack to put under the seat as well for the same price. So for the first time on a short haul flight, I actually carried a decent size handbag and I took my Miu Miu, I think this is called the Madras tote, but I got this about 10 years ago. So um, pretty old and this was my first proper designer handbag and I thought it was just perfect for this summer holiday. So I just want to show you what I carried um, on the travels. So this was um, for the flight to and from Portugal, also for the train journey from Lisbon to Abu Faira, And then I also carried this out on a couple of days as well. So this is how I packed it for traveling. The first thing I have is my passport in this Mulberry passport case. I love these cases um, or covers because the leather is so nice. And then I'll show you the organization on the inside as well. This is my favorite thing about the Mulberry passport holders. So you've got one slip pocket here. You've got an open pocket on this side. And then on the left hand side, you've got four card slots and one slot behind as well. And it is all leather lined. And Marlboro does this in a few different colors and they have some of the contrast lining as well, which are really beautiful. So depending on the passport you have, you can slot it in behind here or over here. And as I say, I use this for my passport and then also um, my boarding pass and um, the passenger locator form as well, which we needed to travel. The next thing I have in here is my purse. I carried my Louis Vuitton Rosalie coin purse. The other bag I took with me on this holiday is my Mulberry Dali, which is a very small crossbody bag and is um, organized like a wallet on chain. So when I use that bag, I just took the cards out of this and just slotted it straight into the bag. But in here, I just have my main cards. Um, and then this, uh, this is at the airport when I went to Boots. Um, you get a little voucher for number seven, which I probably won't use, but that's the purse I took. And then the other thing in the front is um, a packet of tissues, and that's everything in the front of the bag. Then in the middle, in this zip section, I have a few things. First thing here is my little Smithson or Smithson. Um, notebook which says travels and experiences they do a lot of very cute notebooks with little motifs and icons on and also little um, quotes and text like this so this I use for traveling and I show you the details but on each page you've got a date location weather and you can just use it as a little travel journal um, so I carry that around with me and just write in it every day the next thing is my Kindle, which was very important for all the traveling. Um, 
yeah and i'm reading a book at the moment called prisoners of geography which is about um how different geographical locations and you know where countries are um how that impacts their sort of political um stance and things like that so it was really interesting didn't describe it that well i have a hair bubble this is one of those invisi bubble ones but with the like velvet thing on the outside so this is very nice um i have got a couple of pens uh, a hairband and then my earpods these are the cambridge audio ones again an essential for travel to listen to music and that is everything in the middle section and then in the back i brought my um liquids bag with me in here so i didn't have to fuck about and get it out of my suitcase at the airport because my suitcase is very very tightly packed um and yeah i just didn't want everything falling out so here's just all the liquids that I carried with me. Then I have got my mini pochettes in here. And I've just got a few of the um, normal sort of essentials that I'd carry in my bag. So I've got hand sanitizer, which is a must. Um, I've got these anti-travel um, sickness pills, which I take when I fly. I've got my Nivea Cherry Shine lip balm, which is my trusted lip balm. Um, the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer, which has got the concealer and mirror inside. Then I have just some um, pills, what are they called? Contraceptive pills. Um, I've got a few plasters. I have um, an empty case for a, um, what's it called? A, like a floss stick, but no stick in there. And then a pack of gum. And I've got a little, um, what are these called, clip, uh, pin thing as well. So that's everything in my mini pochette. And then I have got some antibacterial hand wipes. So um, I use the hand gel for my hand actually. And then this is just, for example, on the plane, like the trays, just to wipe those down. I've got a face mask. And then, oh, here we go. <laughs> here are the little um, floss picks, which should be in that little case. And then I have got a bottle of water. And that is everything I carried with me. And you can see this bag just carried so much. And the compartments in this really made it so much easier for me as I was like trying to reach in and rummage around for things so this was such a nice travel bag to have with me um and that's it for this video I just wanted to show you the things I carried with me on my travels so thank you so much for watching as always um please leave a comment if you have anything to say or um yeah if you'd like to see any particular reviews from me I do love making these videos um so yeah I hope you enjoy them I hope the length is okay and the content is interesting enough um but yeah please just let me know if you've got any other suggestions Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.